scores of DA members and structures participated in what the party calls the country's first major virtual political rally in the run-up to the local government elections. But as the DA gears up to prepare for what is expected to be a hotly contested October 27 poll, it faces many challenges. They include the recent performance in the by-elections where the Patriotic Alliance scooped two new wards in El Dorado Park under their nose and the recent exit of Pumzile Fandam as a parliamentarian. The party, though, is adamant that they have their eyes set on the ball. Our opponents are trying their best to wriggle their way out of it. They're either simply not prepared for this campaign or they fear what voters might say to them on the day. And so they talk about postponing and they make up excuses. But we will have none of that. The DA is marching confidently towards the 27th of October. Stian Hazen says instead of citizens protesting over a lack of service delivery and government failures, they should protest through their vote. But there is another form of protest that is guaranteed to get better results. And that is the protest you register with your vote. That simple little action of drawing a cross and a block on your ballot paper carries more power and brings more change than a thousand tires burnt and a thousand stones thrown. Federal Council Chairperson Helen Zilla took a swipe at the ANC and EFF for trying to use the COVID-19 crisis to postpone the elections, which are five months away. Early this year, the EFF lobbied other political parties to join its proposal to synchronize elections, saying parties should be able to campaign freely and interact with voters. And this week, the Electoral Commission tasked former Deputy Chief Justice Dihang Moseneke to head a review process to decide whether current conditions are conducive to hold free and fair elections in October. Secondly, we all know very well that the ANC and EFF aren't ready for the elections and they'll do everything, even abuse and cynically use the COVID crisis to try and postpone the elections. Now we have to defend South Africa's people to get their choice of government. Because I promise you, if they postpone it once, they will postpone it again, we will set a fatal precedent. The DA has implored members to become active citizens and take ownership of the future of their country. Natasha Piri, SABC News, Johannesburg.